I know, I know. Poseidon, your audience is 18 to 24 year old males. Why are you making a video about a show for six year old girls? I get it, okay? But I don't care. I'm gonna talk about it and you're along for the ride. Oh, that's terrible. <clears throat> okay, so. Miraculous. I love it. I said it. I said it. I finally said it. I said it and I hate it. And that's the thing that is really conflicting about the show for me. And I think it's conflicting for a lot of people. You see, you, you watch the show, right? And you think, there's so much potential here. You guys could do so much. And yet, and yet, the show's lacking. Then I saw there was this movie and I thought, oh my goodness, I have to watch this movie. So the video is going to go in three directions. One, I'm going to talk about the movie and what I thought about the movie and how the movie works and what actually works about the movie. Two, I'm going to talk about the show and what doesn't work about the show. And three, I'm going to talk about what needs to change for the show. So really quickly, I think I need to preface this. Here's typically how miraculous episodes go. Okay, I think we can break it up into three basic parts and this is important for later on in the video. Okay, ready? Part one is the intro. Part two is the reveal. Part three is the D-reveal or the D-veal. And it goes something like this. I'm gonna tell Adrian how much I love him. <laughs> Adrian, I, I love you. Marinette, I, I love you too. Hooray, well, this is the best day of my life. I'm so excited. Time for you to forget everything. Hogma Blast. And this is my problem with the show because they introduce something and then you think it's gonna happen, right? In the second half of the, in the, second half of the episode. So. Marinette loving Adrian, right? Okay, that's already a thing. It's already going on, right? We know they're already like lovey-dovey, kissy, smoochy, whatever. Okay, but I'm talking about before, right? And they still do this. They still do this. It's just with different things now. Like the reveal of who they are, okay? And if you remember, like, for example, in Cap Blanc, right? When they finally get revealed and they're finally in love and you think, oh my goodness, the show actually did something. The show actually progressed. I'm so excited. And then Hawkmoth comes in. Boom, everyone forgets everything. And that's it. And you think, what in the world happened? And I think this is something, right, that the movie does beautifully. Because what the movie showed me, and what I think everyone needs to take away from this, is that Miraculous can actually capitalize, wait for it, on its potential. That's, that's the thing that's held me to this show for eight years. Been a long time. Right, you, you see the show and you think, oh my goodness. They could do so much with this, right? And the beautiful thing about the movie, it takes all of that potential and it just, it just uses it. There's no like, last 30 seconds, we forget all the prop progression we made. It's just, hey, we're gonna run through the story. It was a movie, I thought it was good, but it was nothing special, but for Miraculous, it raises the bar for the show because you think, oh my goodness, they could do this in the show because here's what I think the show's missing. And I think this is what everyone, everyone feels the show's missing is character progression, plot progression, right? Those are the two things that you think the show needs and it, it's like slowly gets there, right? But for five seasons, did we really need to drag this out for five seasons? No, I think what you could do is you could compile a list of like the 26 main episodes that someone needs to watch if they want to watch Miraculous and that's it. That's all you need. And that's what the movie does great. Right, because it takes it takes Marinette as a character who's self-conscious and anxious and right, like typical teenage girl, more or less. And then it does the same thing with Adrian, right, where he's you know he's kind of edgy, kinda not really, right, but he's he's kind of like sad and sullen and sunken. And it's more akin to like how they originally wrote him, from what I can tell. And I think it's a great origin story, and it's way better than the one they had before. But it's, it's more than an origin story because it just, it completes the story, it completes the narrative. And the thing with the Miraculous show is it could have ended probably three years ago. They could have done what they did in the movie. And that's what's beautiful about the movie, is they take everything you wanted to see and they just made it happen. Only good song in there, Hawkmoth song, Fight Me, that's it. My favorite, my favorite part of the movie, it, it lasted maybe 15 seconds, is when Marinette, I'm gonna play the clip or pull it up, whatever, whatever I can do, is when Marinette and Adrian are just, they're upstairs, they're sitting on this like rooftop, right? And then they just start play fighting, right? And they're bantering. And we don't see that ever in the show, as far as I know. And the show needs more of that, right? Because it's such a subtle moment, but it really builds like their character and it, it, it feels right in the, in the context of the movie. It feels right. It feels like this is something these characters would do and it's playful and they're bantering and it's great. And we did that. It's hard to believe. 
You know what, Watermelon? I'm all ears, Fleabag. Don't take it personally. You got a great style. But I believe you could, uh... punch a little faster. Really? Huh. Interesting. Uh, slow, but pretty strong for a watermelon. <laughs> you call that a kick? Oh, what a cute kitten. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to fight? And I, that was my absolute favorite moment in the movie. And it was like 15 seconds, and they need more of it. And the other thing that was great is Hawkmoth wins, right? Hawkmoth actually does something. And it's, it's not like it's not like he almost wins. It's not like like he he wins. He gets some miraculous. He uncovers Marinette, and he doesn't even care. He doesn't even care, man. He just wants the 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 uh, the ring. He, he wants he wants Cat Noir's ring. And the the thing that I think worked. There is it. They lose. They're like they lose. They they can't win. And and it makes sense in movie context because they're still brand new to this this hero stuff, right? But but the thing that I think is works so well is that it, it's Adrian's dad decides that his family is more important. His family living is more important than his wife, right? And you could take that in a lot of different directions. You could you could take it in the fact that he turns Adrian over to his side, and Adrian gets tempted, and maybe he helps it. Right? That's that's all you know. It's different stuff you could do, but they don't do that. And I think on one level it works really well that they just lose, and they they lose to this bad guy, and he has a he has a good intention at heart, right? It, it's sort of similar to in Full Metal Alchemist, how they just want to bring their mom back, right? It, it's it's really the same idea except. You know, they're not causing chaos, they're trying to restore order. It's the same idea, and it works really well. And I think about the show, and I think, why don't they do this? Right, because in the, in the show, right, Hawkmoth has these little instances where he gets wins, right? He, he captures all the miraculous, and then he, he uses all the powers, and he, you know, he's got his secret little ring, and no one knows what's going on with his little ring thing. And I think that's really smart. But I also think, like, guys, guys, we forgot the point. We forgot the point of Miraculous, and I, th I think this movie, it, it nailed home the point, which is, it's about Miraculous, this book. It's about Ladybug and Cat Noir, and that's it. The, the reason that's so important, especially nar from a narrative standpoint, is the idea of creation and destruction. Those two things are eternal complements, they're archetypal, and you need those. And, and one of the things that, that becomes bothersome, boring, and dragged out is all the Kwamis. Dude, who cares? So the show needs to, one, just remember what the heck the point is. The Marinette and Adrian are trying to stop Hakama, and, and we always get sidetracked by these random side characters getting akumatized for the 17th time. It's like, I don't care if the ice cream guy served the wrong flavor of ice cream on a certain Saturday, and now it's melting, and the melting symbolizes his crying and his soul. Like, who cares, man? I just want to see Marinette and Adrian kiss. I want to see them defeat Hakama. I want to see Hakama see Adrian as his son, and I want to see... Uh, Cat Noir. I want to see Hawkmoth see Cat Noir as Adrian. And I know other people, uh, they might be into it for other reasons. I don't care. I care about the plot and the, those two characters. And that's it. And as soon as you start deviating from that, or you get Kagami and Luka and like love Octagonal or whatever, like, I don't care, right? Let's just go back to the basics. And so what they did here is they just took everything that I think I've ever wanted to see from the show, which is the fact that there's a complete story and there's progress, and it just happened. And it was great. Oh, other thing about the movie, and this is really important. I think the movie Cat Noir, Cat Noir has the same problem that he has in the show. Um, he's not a main character, and I get Marinette is the main focus, right, in the show and in the movie. But again, he's he's more the butt of jokes. He's like the sidekick. He he doesn't he doesn't seem to do much. That's not entirely true because in a fit of rage, right, he he climbs all the way up and confronts his dad. But he's not. He shows no competence and. He shows no no care in and they, they I feel like they really do him dirty. And my my other complaint about the movie as a whole, and this might even go to the show, is that there's no there's no strong male characters. Right? You have Marinette and they make this comment like she's a she hero. And I say, as long as you have good characters regardless of whether they're male or female, that's literally all that matters. But there's no strong male character in, in Adrian, as far as I can tell. What is good is he he makes that courageous leap to Marinette and says, Marinette, I, I love you, right? And every guy who's ever done that, you know how that is. 
and it takes a lot. It takes, so that was good. But from a from a hero saving perspective, he really doesn't do anything, and it kind of stinks because you think there should he should he should step up to the plate, right? Here's something that the show should have done a long time ago. Lila, have her do something. Like actually do something. Like something. Right? Remember in season one when you were watching that and you were like 13 and you thought, wow, this character's a bad person. And now it's eight years later and you're still like, look, this might just be a me thing. And you're still watching and you think, why hasn't she done anything? She's just been doing these like random side quests that seem inconsequential for, I don't know, however long. And I haven't finished season five. I'm waiting for them all to come out in English. I'm up to like episode 16 or 17, but I don't think it matters. Because I'm missing like some key thing, but why isn't she doing anything? And so I might be behind there. There might be other people that are like, no, well, she does something. The, the main thing about the show is that it's, it's lost potential. And I think that's what the movie brought back, right? So how should Miraculous change? Here's how it should change. One, focus on Ladybug and Kenna. I want to see Marinette reveal to her parents that she's Ladybug, and I want to see Adrian and Marinette together. As, and know fully what's going on and not these random like side stories that no one cares about, right? And that's the main problem that I have. And that's the main problem that was. So, those were all my thoughts. It was unscripted and I was just saying this as I watched the movie right after I watched it yesterday, right? But I had to say this because one, I like the show and I care about it. And two, they could take notes from the movie and remember what the show is all about. And I could talk more and there might be another video on this, but for now, this is it.